four months after getting married, I fell ill. So I went to the doctor because I was in tremendous pain. And the doctor said to me, you need to have a hysterectomy. My response to him was, I'm an only child of a man who's always wanted to be a grandfather. And I just married a man who has prayed to be a father since he was a child. A hysterectomy is not in the question. So during this time, I started investigating what I could do regarding my health. And I did, I found something that worked for me. Did it work for a long term? No, it didn't. But it worked long enough that I was able to start asking other women, do you know what goes on with your body? Have you planned, has anybody spoken to you about what happens? And the majority of them said no. So did I end up having to have the hysterectomy? Yes, but I bounced back. Those two men that I spoke about at the beginning, my father said, I would much prefer to have you than any grandchild I don't know. And my husband said, God picked you for me. And I don't know a child that we would have. So they were the winds beneath my wing to bounce back from this period where for many women it is a difficult, difficult time. But what it did was it allowed me to reach out to other women and be able to explain the things that go on. Hence, I wrote a book, Perimenopause, What Your Mother and Girlfriends Don't Tell You. Oh, my God.